And we're talking about today's topic, which is the study of literature. Is it pointless in today's day and age? Campus returns in just a moment. Stay tuned. Campus, Campus, Campus on 938 Live. We're continuing this very exciting discussion on campus on 938 Live, coming to you from Raffles Institution. And today, of course, we're talking about whether literature as a subject is pointless today. We're going to hear more from our student audience in just a bit. But before that, I want to reintroduce our panelists. Dr. Warren Liu Chengyi is Associate Professor of English in the NIE and NTU. Patrick Wong is a teacher of GP here at RI. Sarah Tan is alumnus of RI. She's also teaching or relief teaching literature and was previously in the Humanities Program. And my final guest is Jeremy Koo, Year 5 student here at RI. And let's give another round of applause for them, please. I want to go straight to the floor right now to hear what our students have to say. Now, earlier we heard from two of our students in the audience about why they love literature. We want to hear as well about why people don't seem to appreciate literature as a subject. We're going to the floor now. Hi. Can you tell me your name, please? Uh, I'm Wei Sheng. Wei Sheng, do you think that people around you who don't like literature, what do you think are some of the reasons for this? Um, I think like the major reason is that they don't see it as an easy way to make a living. Because it's not immediately clear what you're gonna do if you take literature. If you do like medicine, if you do like medicine, you take the sciences. It's very clear you're gonna be a doctor. But if you do uh, literature, there's no clear path, right? Because um, it doesn't actually tell you. It doesn't inform your choices. Because um, if you take literature, you can honestly do anything. But I would also like to point out that on a practical level, even though if you do any other subjects, um, there's been a study done. If you do any other subjects, you start with a higher starting pay when you go into the working world. But if you do take literature, by the time you reach the middle of your career, when you're 40, right, you're earning more on average than um, someone who took the sciences. So I don't think that science is necessarily not a practical subject to study. It's a common misconception. Right. So you think that, you know, in order to change that perception, we're going to hear from our uh, audience, our, student, our panelists as well. Now, Patrick, you have something to say or comment to make about What's um, just been, uh, how yeah. bringing the skill that that the is idea that it's not necessarily viewed it's viewed as not pragmatic but it's not necessarily okay I'm going to come true. from opposite side this might uh, offend some people but if you're going to study be a doctor or a lawyer once you got that you have very little escape route <laughs> you can't get out of it you know in, in a way yeah so you're miserable you stay miserable the thing about uh, literature is that it it opens up a whole vista of opportunities you can be a journalist you can be a film critic. You could go into advertising. You could do public relations. Uh, you could teach, which is one of the best careers ever. Um, yeah, and you could go into media. I mean, just ask Angela as well what, what you could do a literary, literature degree. And for my own path, uh, the idea of word play and nuance and puns and, and reflection about humanity, that allowed me access into my first job in Singapore Press Holdings, you know, where um, I had to do words and advertising, yeah. So there actually are a lot of practical applications. I want to hear from another one of our students here. Uh, what's your name, please? Ian. Ian, do you think that for you, literature would be a choice that is pragmatic, as our discussion seems to keep bringing up? Do you think literature as a subject will help you know, youths or Singaporeans get into the career that they want to get into? No. Why is I, that I, so? Like, um, um, oh. is, um, it's... It wouldn't help them to get into the career that they want to, but I guess in the sense that, well, if you want to be a doctor, clearly literature doesn't really help in any way. But I guess if you do want to do like other sorts of subjects, as Mr. Wong said, um, you want to sort of do the more humans-ish sort of subjects, literature does help in a sense, yeah. Okay, so you feel that there are like a lot of soft skills that you can learn from that. Yes. Uh, but also, we want to hear from another one of our student audience to see if, just to see if they agree with you on that point, Ian, or whether they agree with Patrick, that actually there could be a lot that you can do with literature. Hello, tell us your name, please. Um, hi, my name is Feng, and um, I don't necessarily agree with that, because I guess, in a sense, every subject comes with a series of skills that, are that can be applied to a certain discipline, I guess, and a lot of them like, aren't applicable strictly to a career because, I mean, the career world is very different and it is a very pragmatic world. But at the same time, like, all s basically, in what, I, what I guess I'm trying to say is that all school subjects prepare you for that to some extent. For instance, literature equips you with a set of language and analysis skills that are very important and that you might not be able to gain in other subjects. So I think that whether it's science or humanities or literature in particular, um, they all give you certain skills. They may not prepare you for a specific career, but they're all valuable in that sense. 